Ross, obviously a nice midweek trip to Halifax is going to be a long one. So uh, what are your thoughts after that? Obviously, it was a, not the best result on Saturday. So, oh, you know, how, how's it been in training today after that? Yeah, I mean, oh, you, you, come, you come off after the, um, the game on Saturday and it's sort of, yeah, God, your the emotions and, and, and whatnot and you're, you're really disappointed. I think, I think there's a real feeling around, around the ground and amongst the players that, um, we we hadn't performed and and we hadn't probably done as expected. So I watched the game back yesterday. Um, uh, the the doesn't change the sense of sort of disappointment and 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 losing at home and and that being a sort of recurring theme. So yeah, like I said, we're disappointed and and, and you're coming back in Monday and you've got to pick yourself up fast and you've got to sort of bounce back quick, which we which we which we have been good at doing, which isn't something you want to be good at doing isn't it because if you haven't bounced back then obviously you prove that probably you're inconsistent so or we are inconsistent so yeah i mean listen we're disappointed um do i have any sort of like other reflections on the game um yeah i mean listen i i, I try to give them i come off i try to be i wanted to praise and be positive for gated because because i thought i thought they played well and um whether they played well because we were bad or whether we were bad because they played so well I think it's probably a real bit of both um, you, you sort of you look at look at how we are or how we've been and what's got our success is probably is pressing and is is jumping and is applying pressure at the ball and there's there's a real um, as you can probably see on Saturday when you do that against teams that can pass and pick off passes they almost want you to do it because you're leaving zones and you're leaving men and um, you're you're allowing them to get overloads in areas you don't want to get, and um, you almost become the, the ideal team for them, really. And 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 th that that that's probably the most disappointing thing. And um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I mean the the way they played, and and I try to try to try to give them credit, and I think they deserve credit for coming and playing the way they do. And we were talking before they've lost three games in eighteen, and I know a few of them have been draws, and they're in the semi final the trophy, and. Just trying to be positive for them, I think they deserve it. It's easy to come away, isn't it? And all, all the you look at you look at other teams and, and probably use Southend as an example. Probably you come away and it's all about how brilliant we were, and there's no real sort of like reflection on how maybe bad bad they were or whatnot. If that makes sense. And then we we look at our game and it's not about how brilliant they were; it's about how bad we were. So. So sort of flip it on its head. I thought they were good, um, but on the flip side of that as well, I didn't think we were we were at the races and performed performed to the level um, level that we can. Um, and that's probably the most the most disappointing thing that like Chelsea had performance. But like I said, the reason is they, they they had two high tens and pocket tens that we never got near. Um, and although, although we did try, and then we were jumping out midfielders to to try and get pressure on their back line. And that was creating them, allowing them to be all overloaded centrally with the two pivot players and two pocket players, um, which allowed them to have an overload in the centre of the pitch. Um, and then obviously the wing backs were free, which they get free in in the sort of um, uh, the first twenty minutes. Then for the goal when they're playing from the goal kick, so that's where their strengths were in that three four three formation. And, and we tried to sort of change. We made we moved the change to the three five two to try and counteract that. And it, 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 again the pressure on the ball we couldn't get it and when we did get it we, we got picked off but looking ahead you know to Halifax now will there be a bit of we, us wanting to show them what we are really capable of after after you know the trophy loss a couple of weeks ago I mean yeah I mean we, we've obviously got we've seen how the player they're, 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 they're a side who are they're in a 3-4-3 three, three. Uh, it's a little bit different to, to sort of the the, the Gateshead and Notts County 3-4-3s three, um, they're, they're, them two and more are about pocket tens and, and the two pivot players um, dominate the ball with, with obviously wing backs. The Halifax wing backs aren't quite as high. Um, the, the two pocket tens can sort of drift out wide and um, become a bit more maybe like a sort of front three. So um, it is a little bit different. It does does give you a bit of a different different problem and, and trying to come up with a different solution to it. Um, but ultimately it has to be about us and it has to be about what what we are really good at. Um, I mean, God, God, to, to, to think, football's funny, isn't it? You, you, you play sort of one game, two, three games where you, you've almost turned a corner and, and then you lose one game and then you're right back down to sort of um, uh, uh, 
crash right back down again. So we need to get back to that south end sort of mid head mindset where we were a lot more compact, a lot harder to beat. And when we did return the ball, we were very confident, very brave and, and played forward and, and played forward in the right areas. Is there any tiredness within the squad? It's going to be another another Tuesday Saturday swing again, isn't it? So you know, after after a, a, what it, what has been a, a a year this year of of so many, is is it is it still showing its effects? Yeah, maybe. I mean, but that's every team in this league, isn't it? And we're all on sort of similar games now. And the Halifax themselves have got a, like a trophy run, so they've got another game to think about. So I think got yeah, probably. But ultimately, everyone's in the same boat and. Um, carrying knocks and carrying injuries and and whatnot, so you have to get through it. And or the 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 it's not 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 an excuse that it can't factor in to where we are and what it looks like. So from our perspective, everyone is in the same boat, and we we whatever team we we, we select tomorrow and whatever that looks like, we we make sure we've got energy. And that's that's again, I guess it comes down to. I mean, you get the sort of oh we don't look like we had passion and we don't look like we care because we were not running like we did on against Southend and Maidenhead and, and whatnot. We just couldn't get close to the players, so it tends to look like that a little bit and and then and and and, and, and whatnot. So we want to get back to that. We want to get pressure on the ball. We want to be what we are like: a high energy, highly effective team, a team who can break quick. And absolutely want more of the same when we when we when we come come to play um, come play Halifax. Cheers, Ross. Cheers, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.